Uh, hey guys, this is Timo Shigumi. Today we're here with Brent, and uh, he just went what second place in the ARG at the uh, PNG group, and he was playing DI, and he's here to uh, share with us his dark profile. All right, take it. So first off, I play Deranged Singular as my starter. Well, not, in my opinion, one of the best starters. Uh, on stride, <clears throat> but every one, every grade one higher to the soul, draw two cards. So you minus your field, but you beat your soul, and you net two cards. Yeah, too good. Uh, trigger lineup. I run six crit. Four stand. Or a six hand? All trade your deck for this slice of pizza. Uh, it, it's perfectly rational. It, it has contaminants on black holes. <laughs> Great one lineup. I run three revolting bolts. Whenever she so whenever she is soul charged during my turn, I can give any unit on my field plus four K and she also has resist. Nice. So, I know it's one card I put a lot of work in. I run three Wear Tiger Blunders. As long as I have a Shaw Rod Vanguard, he's plus 1k for every card in Soul. I didn't see you use that today much against me when I was playing you. No, I didn't, I didn't draw it against you, but it was clutch in, the, uh, in my last match. Made him uh, made a column with him, make, making 28 plus 3, 43k. Damn. Mm. I run four of the Stride Fodder, where I work on Jaeger. This card puts so much work in. Dude. I mean, what can I say? Whenever it's soul charged, counter plus one draw. It's just like so many pluses in this deck. Uh, do you want to talk about how like, the combo you pull in that? That people keep missing, uh, don't realize about the whole grade three Shaharit skill. Okay. So on the uh, on the new Shah uh, Shah Rod, when you uh, soul charge, you soul charge two, you look at the deck, or look at your soul, pull one card out, put it to your hand, and then you then you have a choice of adding a card from your hand to the soul. A lot of times if I have a Jaeger in there, I will pull the Jaeger out, put it back in, and plus. That, that's a really smart idea. Yeah. And last, I run four of the new PG. Just because I can get this off, I can consistently get this PG back in my hand, because it not only just does drop zone, it also does assault. So if I have one assault, one and drop, boom, got it. So you like that over the uh, closet Balloon? Yes. I like the. I, I thought Closet Balloon was slightly better because of the draw ability, but I, from watching it today, it was slightly different. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of personal choice. If you really. did that, I, that's why I had Great two lineup. Mm -hmm. I run three Demented Executioner. You know, standard card in, the, in any DI build. Staple. Yeah. You just look, look top seven, throw a dark card, darkness into the soul. A lot of times I hit Jaeger, I just plus on my great two turn. Now GB restricted. All right. Thank you. Uh, Have a good one. Next, I run four Succubus of Jealousy. Another great card. You can get up to, to, up to two soul charges on your when you uh, place her on rear guard. Great for the grade two turns. Using my grade two turns, I usually try to get at least three to four cards in my soul. And then the card that puts so much work in today that everybody hates. Baleful. Baleful. Nasty. So good. GB2, which is your first stride pretty much. 10k, I wanted you. no zeros. Guard trick then, if you're on GB3 with uh, Bala, Balam, I didn't it's want pretty you. much G guard or die. <laughs> I had a point hurt earlier. I, I run also, for my grade 3 lineup, I run two Evil Bishop Castiles. This card is great because what I like to do is if I have... Um, it's, you still won though. Yeah. Yeah. Baleful. Yeah. Yeah. I play three. It's like with Baleful in the soul. Yeah. I'll soul blast these two. I look at the top five for her skill, and I just replace them. Yeah. But I don't have to choose. And then he also gets like he gets all their skills. So you know, from the jealousy, it gets a, it gets automatic plus two, and then from uh, Baleful, it gets plus ten. It's twenty three k call. And guard restrict. And guard restrict. Right. <laughs> yeah. Annoying. Yeah. Then also. I, on GB2, at the beginning of my ride phase, I'm sorry, at the beginning of my ride phase, if I have eight or more cards in my soul, I choose a grade three for my field and put it back in my hand. So I can put this back in my hand and then strive. I can't G guard. I didn't get a chance to do that because I always had a strive card in my hand today. Yeah, I can't. I'll do zero 
I run, you say I run two, one, yeah. two scatter spin, shot rot. So two point oh. Yeah. Two point oh. I mean, it's just basically a sixteen. Yeah. So I do have sixteen k time. What? what? Three point oh. I tried. I did three point oh. It's two point oh. Three point oh. Three point oh. No, no. This is th this like deck three point oh. So I've, I've changed this deck quite a few. Damn. And then the MVP one who proceeds toward daybreak. New good cards. So good. This is one of my. I don't like your starter cards because it's non GB restricted at the end of the turn. I put a card in soul, pop one of their rear guards, or pop rear guard, and then if I have eight in my soul, I counter charge it. That was so annoying. GB restricted. You got, you got rid of my starter uh, like that. Like, oh. This guy was clutch against uh, the two new baton players I played because it, it got rid of their starters and so got rid of one of their uh, big plus players. Yep. Couldn't make as much plays with that. Last but not least, the G Zone. Okay. And MVP for any DI deck at this point in time. Run four ones who hunt souls, Balam. I mean, what, what's there to say there about to say? it? Watch, it's so good. Check, retirement, buff. I mean, come on. Like the, then on GP3, start restrict every year for a row. Oh, also, a lot of people seem to have a question about that today, too, which I thought was clear. That you do not require to retire to get the quad drive check. You still get it regardless. No matter what. He just doesn't get the power boost. Yep. Yeah. Even against the zero dragon. dragon. Damn right. <laughs> Plus 25 plus <laughs> three. <laughs> Triggered. I played two guild raids. Nice, nice. Just because the guard trick, 10k, and the crit. crit. Come on, I mean, that's just like so good. three things in one. It's awesome. It's only like what? It's a free, right? It's just flip. It's just free. It's flip. Yeah. I mean, as long as you have counter blast. As long as you have the 10 cards in soul, he gets the 10k, you have 15, he gets the restrict. Then again, if you're playing Shahar, you definitely have to have tanks mm -hmm. uh, in the soul. Then when my deck starts getting real low, Boom. I have two bladder mouse. So I, the last games I've played. I pretty much thin my deck out to one card, and I put all pretty much between ten to twelve uh, triggers back for my for my soul back into the deck. Damn. So I mean, I just legitimately stacking your opponent. True. Um, one sea breeze, the sea breeze. I mean, new rules that probably get changed out, but it's still it's in there. Yeah. Uh, this card a lot of people don't like. I mean, I like it because if someone's out not rushing me and I can uh, board wipe them, I mean, that's just given. I mean, I'm going to board wipe you and get 10k. Um, of course, Dark Zone, gotta play Dusk. But it's getting nerfed. But it's nerfed, I know, but you know what? Until then, it's there. It's there. Yep. Um, I play five G cards. I play two. I do my attachment. New G guard. Yeah. New G guard. Uh, just too good. I mean, you have eight, you have eight, uh, eight cards in soul, plus ten k. Then you slide a great, uh, great one higher rear guard into your soul. Jaeger, uh, free draw. And draw. Well, no, Jaeger's got to be on your turn. Or it's going to go off. Oh. Okay, so that's like like my grade twos. Like especially against a new Matama player. If they're attacking my, you know, they're attacking dominate, dominate. I have a free card I couldn't get rid of at the end of my turn. Yeah. G guard. Now, now stuff. You can chain it up with the other grade one, right? That uh, when it's going to soul kid, we get a good turn. That's also too. Yep. Damn, okay. okay. And so, and then I kept right. um, Of course, of course, super G guard, self explanatory, uh, plus five for every, every five cards in your soul. Yeah, my question is, where is your drop? Um, next, I run call, one false green. I mean, I was about to say, I think, don't free. you have that? It's, it's a free, free soul charge. You know, six cards in soul, six cards in soul, soul charge two, games for five. Five does. Yep. Call. And last G guardian. Last but not least. I'm like iffy on this guy, but he does. I guess Nubatama, it does help a lot. Uh, Saint Germain, fifteen cards in soul plus ten k and my board. Do you flip just, him with the? Uh, the yeah, usually. Yeah. You, it, I mean, it just matters my matchup. If I'm playing against like, um, like Nubatama, mm -hmm. they, you know, they're going to do they're going to do their play where I can't card the resist anyway. Mm -hmm. But if they have like any other way where they can um, dominate my stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to protect wherever I can. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So it minimizes their turn. Cool. Nice. Um, I guess that was uh, pretty much it. Do you have any like insight about overall tournament? What you thought against? What your weakest and uh, with, like we get, I guess the hardest matchup and all that. My last matchup was really hard. It was the it was no CL Gize. All, the only reason I survived the Gize is because I miracle healed. Miracle healed. And uh, 
minus those five cards, it put me in a very bad spot where I couldn't run. I couldn't stride into Balam. I had to stride into um, twenty-four Blender Miles just to just so I wouldn't have one deck out. Yeah, it was pretty smart what you did though. Like where you type Blender Miles first so you can get the power to the rear guards instead. Yeah. Um, great turn. I mean, it's a great turn. Everybody, I had fun the whole day. Matchups were were bad except for the. You know, we're, we're good except for. My Nocio, or not, the Nocio Gize and the uh, Genesis, Genesis Minerva. Minerva, yeah. Because I got I had Jesus both times just to play the game. Now, I genuinely beat you second. Uh, second right. game, yeah, you did. Yeah, I, I but. changed the first one. <laughs> cool. But yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Well, that's it for you guys. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something. All right, see you guys later. Bye.